Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, I'm on my free-to-play account again, and we are going to go on an adventure today. Um, that was actually really lame. Anyways, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. Um, enter three story stages. So I'm gonna keep going now. Um, probably before I start, I probably should show off what I have so far in case anyone has forgotten. Um, so basically, I've been using these four monsters, raising them. I got my Canneling to Evil 2, and I'm using him as, a, as my leader because I also have him as a variant. So he, I can increase my crit rate by 15% while I'm doing dungeons. Um, that doesn't include the scenario maps, um, unfortunately. But when I, after I get through these, I'll, I'll, I'll start farming dungeon and his crit rate will definitely be useful there. All right, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna keep going. Um, not sure if I should stop using this Miho. I might have some better other monsters. Oh yeah, I was gonna start using this Mona. I was gonna start raising my Mona. I was gonna stop using the Miho and start raising this Mona. All right, so before we start, I'm actually gonna get this Mona or feed this Mona some fruits so her level can rise a little bit so she can actually do something on my team rather than just uh, be a dead weight. All right, uh, let's feed one more time. All right, she's she's 16 now. Let's feed this candling like one more time as well. All right, I need to be like somewhat careful because I need to make sure they they don't max level, and I can actually raise into four stars when I need to. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna feed all the element fruits to which whichever element monster I have. So I basically I'm using two two fire, one water, one and one wood. Um, I'm focusing a little bit more on fire early because I'm I'm planning to use that fire siren for for B4 and I'm gonna start farming B4 very very soon. All right, so let's let's begin. Um, I no longer need this Miho. I'm gonna stop using that Miho. I'm probably gonna feed her to a wood Miho once I get one. But I can definitely start using this wood Mona because wood Monas are really really strong. So that's just with their self sustain and taunt. If I can get her to 5 stars, it's definitely going to be really useful. By the time I get to B7 or something. Alright, alright. So, yeah, the, like a lot, a lot of these monsters, like they, they're not at their full potential yet because they don't get their special skills. Like they don't get their special passes with their second skill um, until until five stars. So it's gonna be a while until then. It's especially hard for me, like to like on this account because I'm you know I'm not allowed to use any four stars. I'm definitely gonna make a panel with all the rules later on and just like all the rules of this account before I start the video I'll just show it off like this so we can we can be on the same page you know so the basic rules are no no four stars no five stars um maybe like a year later like after I run out of shit to raise or maybe it'll, it'll go faster than that um I'll start using fusions like I'll maybe allow fusions by then like after I already clear through all of like the 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 golems and stuff with all only farmable units. Um, maybe I can allow fusion for uh, for for maybe dragons, possibly in the future. All right, this is getting a little bit hard because they're mostly they're mostly water, and I have two fire, but I do have one like decent wood monster, the wood Mona, so I can definitely kind of use her to carry me through the team or through through the whole entire stage or the whole entire map. I mean. Um, yeah, basically no four stars, no five stars. Um, uh, a viewer of mine suggested that maybe I can use use fusion monsters in the future, like in case I run out of content to make. I'm not too worried right now because there's there's so many there's so many good two stars and three star monsters that I can raise and use right now that have like completely unique skills um, that are just completely just overlooked because because that because they're only three stars and, or 
actually three stars are pretty uh, used a lot more um, but two stars definitely aren't there's not a lot of people using two stars in this game if they can help it but I think a lot of them are actually definitely usable so I need to get them to I think my first goal is definitely to get them to five stars um, well not all of them to five stars like at least my a, a full fire team to four stars or maybe not even a full fire team but like majority of my units like the candling and and her um, she needs to be she needs to be four stars and then maybe I can raise my lat as well and the um, actually no not not my lat my lat is water and water is weak against wood but I could probably use the wood Mona and still use her for for b4 if I can get her tanky enough she can definitely survive um, but there's also a lot of other good like fire monsters that I can I might be able to to abuse um, let me think Oh, I leveled. Well, that was actually pretty good. Alright, so I'm, I'm definitely gonna try to clear like two more maps in the, in this in this uh, in this session, and also try to try to get enough um, gems to do one more summon. I don't think summons are the are the best thing for this account because I'm definitely gonna run out of um, gems in the future. I'm not too worried right now because it's only my first like it's my first few levels, so I'm definitely going to be um, leveling up and and refreshing and getting more energy. So, so um, I could probably do one more summon, and then I'll have to stop and save start saving my gems for farming golems and stuff. But don't worry, once I get to B7, I'll start getting eggs, and then I can just use those eggs to summon. I think this this Siri works really well because I can use it as a somewhat of a guide for um, you know for newer players that like go through the game. Like I'm basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show the most effective way to progress um, on an on an account that has like no four stars or five stars, basically. So definitely, if you if you pull some four stars early on, uh, be sure to abuse the shit out of that, or like even a five star. Like if you pull an at five from your first eleven pulls, like be sure to abuse the shit out of that, and you will get a lot, like just a lot more. Um, just it's gonna be a lot easier. I mean, for you to clear through the map because um, you know five stars are definitely like it's basically like you you raise your three stars to five stars. Like you, you leveled your three star all the way up, and then two five stars, and then you're you're continuing from there. Um, it's definitely going to be a lot easier for you to progress because you can just abuse the the fact that you're basically you started off with a higher level monster, um, and you, you kind of do the same thing with with a four star as well. Like if you have like a t a team of four stars, like something that you can use um, to make an actual like good team of four stars. Um, you can do that early on as well, but don't don't invest too much into it because a lot of times, like if you can get these farmable three stars, like for example the candling, for example, um, did I just say for example twice? Like like the candling. Um, if you have monsters like like the fire Yuki or something like that, who has like the same skill, basically the same armor break. But she has better stats because she's a nat 4. She's definitely going to be better if you can get her to evil 3. But most of the time you can't because you need you need like 16 copies of that to make her evil 3. Or at the very least, if you want to make her evil 2, you will need 4 of her. And um, you know, you're definitely not going to be able to pull her that soon. But if you if you just farm enough on the candling map, you can definitely get a candling to to um, to evil 3 very, very easily. So General rule of thumb, uh, like an evil 3 3 star is usually better than an evil 2 4 star. But what you can do with a 4 star is like er really early on, um, while you're progressing through these th through the like the first few maps, all the way up to B4, you can use that 4 star, like especially if you pulled a lot of fire 4 stars. Um, 
you can kind of abuse that and and just basically skip a lot of stuff like or you don't have to like farm up your three stars you don't have to go back because once like maybe in the next map or the map after this one i'm going to reach my limit and these these monsters are going to reach their limit um and i i kind of have to go back to the old like some of the maps before and start farming them up raising their levels and then go into the starstone dungeon the first like two floors of the starstone dungeon to actually get them to four stars um before i can even do anything at all um and also I have to I also have to farm on water days and stuff to get like all the all the water stones and or fire stones, like for example for like the, the water lat or the fire stones for my fire units or wood stones to um, to actually make those units four stars. You know, I can't just make them four stars out of scratch. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a little bit troublesome as well. Uh, that kind of limits you, especially if you don't have certain four stars in in the early game. Um, yeah, so you kind of have to kind of have to go back and farm farm these starstone dungeons, which kind of uses a lot more time. And if you happen to pull, have like a team of fire four stars that you pulled, you can just skip straight into the uh, the the column B four. And then once you can do Golem B4, you can start getting gold, and then gold, um, the gold will translate to you being able to have resources to make more, um, to make five stars. And then you can start making five stars, clear through the, all the maps, and then you can clear through hard mode. And then using your five stars and um, and the the gems that you actually get from from the maps. Um, if you raise them to like plus nine, like four star runes, from when you start doing extreme mode, um, you can use that to to basically clear through all the maps of the game, like all the extreme modes. And then by that time, you will already have like probably already have a five star team of uh, wood monsters. And then you can use those wood monsters to go into B7 and then start farming B7. Once you can farm B7, you can get a lot more gold than B4. You'll also get the eggs, meaning you'll be able to summon a lot more. And also, just um, you know, gold basically means you you you're not limited. You can you have gold to upgrade your runes, so you, your monsters are strong enough. Um, you have gold to make your monsters like five stars and six stars. If you want to start making a six star, that's actually a really, really big gold sink, um, especially early on. It's like it doesn't feel like much to, to people who are like constantly farming golems, but early on, if you, before you start farming golems, you actually don't really have the gold to do that. Um, so yeah, you kind of need to need to go back and do that for for quite a while. All right, that's a lot of rambling. I've rambled on for 12 minutes. All right, that for the beginning of the video. Now I'm just gonna watch them farm for like the next uh, next 40 minutes. Can can I win? All right, I think my Mona might be able to solo her. Uh, maybe not. Shit, this is really bad. All right, just, just watch my Mona solo. If my Mona can't solo, I need to go back and start gemming everything up. Go Mona solo. No, stop, stop attacking the slime. Attack her. I think I might be able to do it. I think my sustain might be enough. Okay, actually, no. I don't think I can beat her. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's, it's actually not that easy. Hmm. Actually, let me go get the quest on my airship, and then I'll use one of my friends to help me clear that. Come on. Give me some free gold. Free energy, free astro gems. All right, let me let me get the quest first. Oh shit! I actually, got the energy rip. That was uh, that was my bad. All right, let's get her gemmed up. Even if it's shitty gems, like the set bonus early on is actually pretty pretty decent. 
And I, I can't get the set bonus rip. I guess we'll go with uh, flat HP. Or flat attack. Let's go with flat attack. Wait, I have no square slots. Alright, I'm just gonna put in some random gems. Wait, maybe I should check the shop, but I don't think I can afford anything at this at this level. Even if it's something really good. Alright, that's that's too bad. Alright, let's let's use one of my friends to help me clear that boss stage. Because boss stages are usually a lot harder. So definitely um, definitely abuse this. Let's see, who should I take out? Let's take out one fire unit, because I probably don't need it. And I'll put in this four star water unit from my f actual friend list. I'm gonna save these for later, because I probably need them to clear like I can use them to clear five more maps. Definitely um, abuse these like early on. Or use them. I don't think abuse is the right word. I just like it. It sounds like you're like outsmarting them or somehow. Feels like you're exploiting the game, but you're not. Hmm. Oh yeah, what what uh Sora has seal. Seal's actually pretty strong. Uh my candling can't take much more. Okay, maybe I should I should actually use one of the two stars that have like a global um leader skill. Like one of the squirrels. The squirrels. With the attack leader. The wood one probably is pretty decent. Yeah, we can actually win this, I think. Alright. I think my I think my candling is rip. Alright, alright. Yeah, we got this. This uh this Sora actually helped quite a lot. So did the gems. The gems actually helped me help me a bit as well. Alright, nice, nice. Alright, I think we got a lot, a little bit more gems. I'm gonna try to finish the quest on this map and also the quest on the other map. See if I can do, I can do that within the hour. There's stage five. Enter Ashmon League once. All right, all right. It's time. It's time for some PvP. Time to begin. All right, let me set up a proper defense. All right, let me let me show you guys a proper defense. Um, that's how you set up a proper defense. Mm, can I can I be any of these? All right, I can be this one. I'm just gonna use these four all the way until I finish all the scenario maps. Maybe try to raise a fire unit, one that has like a dungeon leader skill. Nice, I got an egg. 
It might be something good. Make a plus six, Jen. What a waste of gold. Alright, fine. I'll make this plus six. I'll make a one star one plus six. This way I wa waste less gold. And it has a higher chance, I think. One stars have a higher chance of uh, upgrading compared to like a six star or something. Okay, actually, no, I was wrong. I think they have the same chance. I'm starting to feel tired. Mm, that's, that's that's actually really weird. Alright, plus six. Gotta resist substat. Wait, that was only plus five? Alright, one more, one more. See what type of substats we can get. HP, that's that's actually pretty good. Clear, clear three story stages, alright. Um, I should probably go use up my, my arena, so I can get the Gleam for this week. Although I don't really think I need Gleams, because I'm only using 2 stars and 3 stars. So I don't think it matters that much. Can we beat this guy? Can the four of us beat his level 30, 34 Jack? Do you guys think it's possible? Alright, we win. Yes! Alright, rip, can't refresh. I'm trying to fight him. Actually, wait, no, I, I probably, I, I'll probably lose. Okay, back to farming maps. I think it was just the boss stage just now. That, that's why I wasn't able to beat it, because it had like four stages, and two of my units already died. So I probably could do it with this team. I, I could most likely finish the rest of the map with this team, I think. It's pretty possible. My stupid mermaid doesn't die. Alright, alright. I think, I think we got this. I don't think fire units are that necessarily weak for this map. Because they actually have a lot of wood as well. But wood units are definitely the best on, on this map. Because wood is like element neutral and has element advantage against water. One AoE nukes, last wave. Oh, if only I had the armor break and taunt, that'd be awesome. All right, nice, nice. Yeah, I can probably beat this one with, with my current team. Basically, just keep going. I actually don't have... Well, I, I do have a wood Mona on my main account, but I just never raised her. I've always wanted to try try raising one. Same with the um, the fire candling. I'm yawning like crazy. I'm just so tired. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to hang in there, and we're gonna we have a mission to complete today. All right, we're going we're going. Can't even talk. We're going ham. We are going ham. We're gonna finish this map. We're gonna finish the next one, and I'm gonna summon. <laughs> I'm gonna summon a Nat Five. I'm gonna have to unsummon it.
I think you can actually use the capture thing to help you uh help your early game. Oh shit, I forgot to capture every a copy of every single one. I'll I'll start doing that in the next map. And then I'll probably uh I'll come back later to, to capture all of them. While while I'm farming and stuff. But both of them are water, they can't beat me. I have the most OP self sustain. I'm like a budget wood valk with taunt. New conversation topic in the shop. Nope, nothing. I got seven challenges. Gotta make sure to grab these, because some of them are like repeatable or something. The challenges, like make sure to grab any one you can. Like whenever you can. Except for the except for the uh the energy ones. Cause you should probably save it for like a good time to use it. And then pop it or something like that. But I'll usually grab the, the challenge energy before I grab the energy from my box. Oh yeah, I was going to check on something. I was going to check, um... I was going to check the capture on this map. Actually, I haven't caught a single one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm, all six of them haven't caught a single one yet. But I need to ca catch at least one version of the mermaid. In order to complete it anyways. So, I'll, I'll wait for the third map, alright? I'll wait for... Um, I'll clear the first two map, and then whatever's left on the third map, I'll try to capture at least one copy of each. This way, just in case a mermaid spawns, I'll still have three chips for her. I'm starting to doubt the existence of, uh, variant water mermaids. Or not mermaids, sirens. I don't think they exist. I've been farming so much on my main account, I haven't seen a single one yet. Alright, alright, so... Remind me to press the catch button on the third, third wave. Bam, catch? Alright, there's one of each type. Alright, let's start with the... Actually, wait, let's upgrade, like, um, a few times. I think this is enough. Four times is enough. Let's start, start with this guy. Oh my god, what the... Alright, nice, nice, I caught one. Alright, let's try the slime now. 66% is should be pretty good. Rip. Well, time to die then. Hmm. I am actually about to pass out. That's actually pretty good. Sorry, I'll I'll hang in here. All right, I'll hang in here until I until I finish my mission my mission for today alright defeat Aria Lake boss on normal Make sure to grab all the challenges, whatever you can grab. Oh, she actually grabbed the energy rip. Um, all right, all right. Uh, let me think. Okay, I have to, I have to beat the boss now. I think there's two more maps, so I can do do another capture here. But this one only has Coteen and slime. I guess I'll try to catch the slime. I'll save my chest for the last wave, just in case there's a siren. All right, I, I really don't want to miss one. Especially with me needing to raise the raise the fire one for B4.
Alright, alright, one more wave. Remind me to press the cash button on wave 3, alright? Remind me. I'm not sure exactly if I can clear the next map. If I can't, I'll just use all my, um, all my friends and use them to help me clear the map. And then I probably need to come back to either this map or the map before this one to start farming up. Because I need skills for, uh, or I, I need like sirens and I also need the, the candlings as well, so it doesn't really matter which map I farm on. This one like, gives you slightly higher EXP, so probably this one. And since my candling's already level 2, I probably don't need that many, like, immediately. But if I can immediately get, like, 3 sirens, then I can, like, raise my, um, raise my power level a bit more. Alright, I probably need to use a friend on this. Um, yeah, let's, let's use a wood, because he's water. Alright, this is pretty much overkill, but but uh, I don't have another s stronger rep. All my other friends are the same level as me. I mean, technically they could have pulled a 5 star and then they would be way stronger, but... You know. That's not always the case. It's usually not the case. Oh shit, I forgot to capture, didn't I? Last last wave. Sorry, I'll, I'll do it next wave. I'll try to catch one of these goldfishes. Oh my god, stop hitting my candling. Okay, okay. Remind me to press that catch button. nice I have a chance to get this goldfish all right first try now I get try to get one of these slimes as well what what is wrong with these slimes how are they resisting all my captures Well, they actually do so much damage to my lat. Alright, boss time, boss time. Right, let's, just, let's just burst them down. You've woken the guardian, huh? Well, fuck your guardian. That was, that was a weird, awkward laugh. Alright, nice. I cleared this map. I don't know if I can, like, if I get stuck on the on the next map, I'll, I'll clear it with all my friends' reps. And then once I run out, that's it. I can't clear anymore. <laughs> Equip Water Siren with a gem, alright? I just just give her some shitty one. I'm not even using her. I'm I'm using the fire one. What? I have to feed her fruits too? That's not fair. Why do you get better treatment than everyone else? Enter a stage of mirage ruins on normal. This doesn't look that easy. Damn it, she's already higher level than my fire one. Alright, hopefully I can clear this. If I can't, I'll just use my friend's reps and run it until I can't clear anymore. Then I, I will spend some time like off video farming up my units, but not progressing in the story. If it's the case then. Alright, remind me to cap click capture on wave three. 
remind me. Oh, dude, would Mona so strong? She like never dies. It'd be so great to get her five stars. She would have that taunt, and everyone else would not die as well. On AoE, kill him. Nice. I I gotta remember remember to capture. I must remember to capture. Oh, this is the stupid molar. It's another molar again. It's an another map where I have to catch molars. One seventy-five percent, nice. Ah, oh, yes. All right, all right. That's 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 map one. And I got a molder. You know, maybe in the future I should record these when I'm not so damn tired. Complete stage six mirage ruins on normal. All right, uh, stage six. Wait, that means I have to clear all the first few stages as well. That's not even part of the quest. Uh, let me grab all my challenge rewards. Um, yeah, I should probably level them up as well. I'll raise her level. Her level's way, like, way too low. Dang, they forced me to feed the water siren. Makes me so sad. Yeah, like, I can't even send him. I need water stones. Not sure how I can get them. Basically, I have to wait for water day. Well, it is fire day today, so I might spend some time on B1. Because I have two fire units I need to I need to force her. Definitely want to definitely, definitely wanna farm that as well. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, what the fuck? There's 12 maps. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna capture every single one. I already have the molar. I need a mimic and this this bat thing. Oh yeah, I should raise one of those light kilo bats. I've heard those are really good. They help you um, tank a lot of the dungeons. Oh nice, those are rare. Seedler is actually pretty good as well. He has some nice saps. I think that was scripted. Alright, I'm gonna wait for wave 3 to use my other two uh, chips, in case another one spawns or something. Why was there no scripted Siren? There's a scripted Seedler, there's a scripted Cannelling, and a scripted uh, Coco, but there's no scripted Siren. Okay, you guys have to remind me to click catch on way three, all right? All right, so I, I'm gonna actually, yeah, I'm gonna actually try to catch these killbats. One more try. Don't fail. Dang it. Alright, fine. If you won't be mine, then die. Oh, dang. They're hitting my Mona quite hard. That's pretty bad news. Sorry, my Siren has our heal. And they're 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 dead anyway, so whatever. 
Early game, everyone has like such low HP that your healers just heal so much. It feels like they heal so much. Hmm. I gotta, I gotta grab the quest first. Make sure I get all the rewards. All right. Uh, what? How many mass? Oh wait, we're, we're on map three. All right, so I, I basically I still need to catch one one of them bats, and also a box. I'm gonna make as well. I already caught the three star of this map, so I don't have to worry about that. So if you're like farming early on, a really good idea. Like if you're if you're confused as to why I only capture on wave three, it's it's because sometimes um like certain units, the rare ones, they might spawn on wave three, and if you use up all your chips on wave wave one and two, you're gonna regret it. Another good thing, like if you if you're if you tend to forget, is to just not use your chips. It doesn't really matter. Well, actually, it does matter. It gives you astro gems if you capture all the monsters of a map, like 60 astro gems. You can definitely use that to summon and get ahead, a, like a little bit faster. I mean, unless you're really, really unlucky, then you probably get at least one four star each um, 11 summon or so. I don't know why, like, ever since I, ever since I started going like pay to win on my main account, I haven't been, I've been like really unlucky. Never summon anything good. Dude, that Mona nuke looks so cool. Like when she, when she uses her special skill, it just looks awesome. Oh shit, I forgot to capture. Oh god, I'm 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 retarded sometimes. Alright, it's fine. I'll just I'll just have to not fail my captures this time. I mean all I need is one one bat and one mimic. Alright, so like if I use two chips to capture one bat and then have one chip left to capture that last mimic. That'd be that'd be great. Oh wait, shit! I know why I failed. I forgot to upgrade the raids on this map. Should definitely like upgrade like at least three times or so every time you move on to the next map. And then in the future you can upgrade a bit more when you're um when you're actually farming for a specific monster. Like on my main account on on Aria Lake, I already um, upgraded to full the capture rate. Just in case, you know. I got it to almost full last time because the bolt wing spawn, and I was like, "All right, I need to capture this," so I upgraded it all the way. Oh shit! 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 No! Don't kill him! All right, at least one of the mimics still alive. Okay, we're gonna try on. The, we're gonna try the kill bat first because the mimic's definitely easier to catch. Dang it! All right, it's, it's all right. We got three chips. Oh shit, I forgot to upgrade the rates. Why am I so dumb? Why am I so stupid? Alright, I think three times is enough. I'm kind of running out of gold. Come on, don't fail. Nice, nice. That's perfect. I don't know why I'm so dumb sometimes. I can't help it. It's just, it's just the way I am. Is it boss stage yet? No, I think it's stage 5 that's boss stage. This is stage 5. Actually, wait, what? There's no boss here? Oh, I have to clear stage 6 for the, the mission reward. Alright, there's there's nothing to capture here, so I can pretty much uh, go in without, without getting the previous quest. But after this one, I definitely want to go out and clear my quest log, or or just complete all the all the quests that I completed before. I should, or I have complete, claim the rewards and stuff. This way, in case a new like challenge quest gets completed, I can get it. Because some of the challenge quests are like repeatable. 
or they um, there's like a prerequisite for for the next part of a quest or something like that. So you definitely definitely want to go out as often as possible to to uh, clear your quest log. Oh shit! It's a lot of damage. Come on guys, come on! Don't lose now! Well I guess I don't need to capture any of these so I can just kill them all. Alright, so what else... What else do I need to raise? What's another like definitely should raise three-star monster like I probably raise the water siren as well in the future after the fire one um, same thing with a Mona like probably need another like after the wood Mona definitely should raise a water one as well all right next level I'm gonna level oh wait I have a pretty good idea before I level I should go waste my all my uh, arena tickets like, even if you can't win, you should just go in and just, just lose every single one. Like, it, it still works. It still gives you one point. So you can you can actually, like, um... Let's, let's actually refresh first and see if there's only, like, you know... If they only have, like, one person, I could probably beat it. And then I'll just find, like, some hard teams. Just go in and then surrender. And you still get one point for doing that. If you're just starting early on and you wanna you wanna get the that first gleam of the week, you can definitely do this. But I think I beat this guy as well, he's only level five. How is this episode getting longer than the first one? I feel like I haven't done as much, but somehow, somehow it's longer. Wait, can I win? Can I actually win this? I chose to raise these monsters, like the, the farmable ones instead of like other non-farmable ones like the Phoebians and stuff because I, you know, I can, I can guarantee, like I'm guaranteed to get them to like Evil 3 and stuff pretty easily. Like after I start farming the second half of the Mirage Runes maps, I can get my water lot to um to to max very 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 easily. Cause there's lats and the lats are only two stars. So I can just use those. And if I if I like happen to come across a variant one, I can make my lat a variant as well. Alright, so basically just go in some go in and find some of these hard teams and then just surrender to each one. Boost their points up. Make make their life harder. Make their life harder for putting in actual defense. And the, the good thing about this is you lose points, like you basically you get even less. Um, I mean, like your points go down even more. This, I mean, your rank. I mean, not not your points. Um, your rank goes down even more, meaning that you're gonna fight easier players, you know, rather than harder ones. Just, uh, just, just keep feeding the same guy and boost him up. You're doing him a favor as well, cause he put up an actual defense, meaning he actually wants to climb and stuff. Alright, am I am I in bronze yet? Is there an actual bronze rank in this? Alright, he's getting seven points. I'm getting one one extra arena point every single time I do this. 
League point times two. Actually, wait, it's, it's not even, like, you don't lose times two. Only if you win. If you win, you get win times two. What I guess this does is, it means that when you're actually trying to like, you know, actually beat someone to like compete for a higher rank in the arena, you need to be able to like, you know, you can't just cheese someone. And if you get cheesed, you can still make it back, as long as you can defeat them in the next round. Come on. All right, I think, I think that's the end of that. Wait, we got, we have one more. We have one more. All right, we have one more. Although I don't really care that much about this, to be honest. Like seriously, gleams don't do that much for me. I probably use gleams on like non-farmable three stars, and just gleam that, because <laughs> I have nothing else to use it on. Not using any four stars or five stars in this. Alright, I need to clear stage 6. I probably should use some reps, because this stage probably is a little bit harder. It's mostly fire, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out my Mona. I'm going to put in this, uh, this Horan. The game gives you 5 free reps that you can use. They're all 5 star max level. One of them is 6 star max level, so definitely, like, definitely abuse the shit out of that early on. It's still the same monsters, like, they're not different or, or anything. Still these exact same monsters. We need some better AoE damage. It's taking so long. Maybe I should have kept using that dog. But no, I, I still need I still need like one fire unit anyways. It's not like I have a I have a light or dark healer. Cause I was thinking of using like one element of each each type. Or one 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 of each element, I mean. But I guess you can't always make the perfect team, especially when you're this limited. Let's, let's just kill him. Let's ignore the two on the side and just straight out kill the boss. Make things a little bit faster. Just armor break him, sap him, put everything you can on his face. Nice. That was great. And I leveled. Oh yeah, I was expecting to level. Well, let's see what other bullshit quests they give me. Enter gold dungeon once. Catch four lats. Or I can use those lats to, to evolve my other stuff. And then evolve a uh, astromon to evolution too. I can do that with my lat. So that's pretty good. Oh yeah, definitely do these early on. Definitely do these every single day. If you're if you're like a new player, um, these aren't hard to clear. Or I've heard that they made it easier. I've never tried it like as with three stars, but it should be pretty easy to clear. They made it this way so you can get more gold and stuff early on, and gold is really valuable. So every single day that you play, like definitely make this something you do. Like if you only play like an hour daily, make sure to do this. Shit, I was supposed to kill the boss. Could have killed him in two attacks. What was I doing? Yeah, see he's he's half HP bar and I, I didn't even land armor break. If I landed armor break he'd be he would die this turn. Oh, that didn't work. Alright, now he's dead.
Alright, I need to capture four lats. Use those lats to make my lat evil too. And then, um... Yeah, and then I basically have this. Alright, I need to I need to actually go and get my quest first. Grab all the challenges. Grab the weekly as well. Actually, wait, there's no weekly. They lied to me. Okay, we got one, two, three, four. We got six more levels. Alright, so it's lat and, and this thing. Just remind me to press capture on the third map, alright? Remind me- oh, nice. I think this is scripted as well. This is definitely scripted. I'm, I'm fairly certain that this was scripted. 9%. Boom, you catch it, alright. Now every new player thinks they're the luckiest guy in the world. Like, holy shit, it's a 4 star. And I caught it with a 9% chance. They should give us a scripted nat 5 like on your first pull. Everyone would think, everyone would like freaking love this game. Like all new players would just continue playing instantly. And then have some like dramatic dialogue right after. Like, wow, I can't believe that just happened. You know, have have like Sierra say some bullshit. I can't believe just that just happened. Just gotten a really rare summon. Oh, this it's starting to get hard. The second half of this map is so much harder than the first half. I still got two more captures. I'm gonna try to capture some lats. Alright, let me try to at least get this lat. On. One more try. I need to capture five or four. And I need to use them too. Oh my god. So unlucky. Yeah, they're level 17. They're a lot stronger than before. If only I already had my AoE armor break, they'd be so dead. Oh shit, can I win this? I think I can. Yeah, we get some blue soul and red soul. And then my Mona can definitely solo that one. Okay, this is getting a little hard. This is definitely getting a lot harder. I still have three more reps, I think. If I can clear the next map, I can use my reps to clear the last three maps. Alright, I'm gonna wait for the the stage wait for stage three to capture, alright, in case there's something that pops up that I need to capture. Just in case. Alright, so far so good. No scripted stuff. Oh, uh, my candling is so dead. Oh, he lives! Can I get my heal off? Nice, that's actually pretty good. I need, to, I need to capture now. Oh my god, no lats. That's actually really sad. Let's capture this red slime. I, I don't think I have one yet. I got the green one. And I don't need the bats. Alright, I might need to start aggressively catching lats in the next map. So I can at least have... So I can have four by the time I finish. Basically, that's the plan. I mean, there are only two stars. It shouldn't be that hard, right? All 
Oh, this map has two lats. I think I think there it means that there's more lats on this map. Or whatever. If I if I miss a three star, whatever. Who who, who cares, all right? It's just a seedler on this. If it's an actual like storm storm beak that spawns, I'm probably not gonna catch it anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Come on. Oh, that was that was actually pretty bad. Well, I, I need four of these. It's gonna be hard. If I only catch one per per run, I can't do it before I before I get to the last map. Definitely need to catch like at least two per run. Or I can catch one per run, but for like the next three runs, or one of the, one of the next three runs, I need to catch two. And I'm not even guaranteed that there's two lats on that map. Actually, if there's one lat, there should probably be two. We're almost there. We are almost finished. It's, it has been already over an hour. Oh my god, four lats. Don't think it gets any better than this. Alright, I have my nuke and my heal. We're good, we're good. I caught one lat out of all those lats. Well, let's hope this stage has some lats too. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna capture all the lats I see. If I see lats, I'm just gonna try to catch it. Doesn't matter which stage, which stage they spawn on. Oh shit, this is bad. My Cowling might die. The red souls don't go to him. I hate that red soul shit, it's so unreliable. I wish it was like less RNG based and actually goes to your units that are dying. Instead of to random units. Like it would make so much more sense, you know? Alright, I see a lot. Let's grab him. Get him! Come on, be mine! Yes! Alright, maybe I can capture another lat on this map with my remaining one chip. It might just work, you never know. This is getting harder and harder. Actually, no, this stage was actually extra hard only because my cattle link died on stage one. So I took. That's why it took so long. What? Oh my god. I, I, I clicked it. But I think I clicked it twice too fast, so I actually cancelled. On. Rip. I can't even weaken them to like, like there should be increased chances of weakening if you like weaken the, the lat or weaken certain monsters to have an increased capture chance. One crit or something, although I have like no crit rate. I think there's a 10% base. Er, this is, actually I think I can still do this, even if it's fire. Okay, nice, nice. That was, that was perfect. I got one lat, which is, I guess, okay. 
Or in order for not for me not to repeat any more stages, I need to make sure I catch two lats in this somehow. I don't know how, but hope I catch two lats, alright? It's because I messed up on one of the maps before. I could have captured a lot on one of those maps. Now I have to go back and do it. Please survive, Mona. You can do it. Oh, come on. Alright, alright. Moment of truth, guys. I need to capture this one lat in one go, and then have like two chips left to capture the other two. Okay, maybe maybe I can capture this one in one chip, and then I capture the next one. And then everything will be perfect. If not, I have to repeat a stage. Rip. Nice. All right, all right. Now at least my team's doing okay against against them. It means I I probably will be able to do the next map a little bit more. But I'm also looking towards uh, making making some of them four stars. So definitely want to farm that fire dungeon a little bit today to at least get enough low essences to get my um, fire candling and my siren to to four stars. I need, to, I need to repeat one of these stages and catch um, catch one of them lats. Let's go with the one with the EXP bonus. Alright, I just need this lat to be mine. Alright, now you get captured in one go. Alright, uh, since I don't need extra energy, let's just, uh, let's just get out of here. Fuck it. <laughs> Who cares, right? Who cares? Alright, so I completed a quest. And I can use those lats to get my lat to evil 2. Ooh, this actually costs quite a lot. Especially early on. Yeah, the Evil 2 version looks so much better than the Evil 3 one. Evil 3 version of the lap looks like some mutated cat. Some really ugly mutated cat. Alright, last mission, last mission. We're gonna put in... Uh, he's dark, right? And we're, we're gonna put in... Yeah, let's just, let's just put in some random dark unit as well. I wonder how these monsters are gemmed. I can't even... Can't even see it. Oh wait, I can actually use this chance to capture some more lats to make him Evo 3. I might as well do it. I'll do it on the next next map when I see some lats. It would be really awesome if I can get a variant as well, because he has um, a arena attack leader, so I can use that for PvP.
All right, come on. Be mine. Wait, I just realized my gem inventory is full on my main account. Wait, did he just resist that twice? Did it work? Alright, it worked. Alright, keep autoing. I'm gonna put my uh, put my main put my team on my main account back to farming. For a little while longer. Okay, let's focus the boss. Let's do this. Let's take him down. Oh shit. I hope my healer doesn't die. Actually wait, no, this this Dark Thal can de definitely solo it. He can solo all of it, 100%. Dang, that's some pretty nice damage for a 5 star. I wonder how long it's going to take for me to get a, uh, a nat 5 light dark. Oh my god, it's a variant! It's a variant water siren on my main! Moment of truth. All my capture rates upgraded. Moment of truth. This is actually more exciting than anything. I finally have a... I finally see one. This is the first one I've seen. I'm going to be very, very sad if she resists three times in a row. Oh, nice! Nice! Finally caught it. I'm so happy. All right, my life is complete. Um, but that's not that's not the end of the very video yet. We get the seedler first. We're gonna do another ten summons as well. All right, let's grab some money from the trees, and it's time. It is time to summon. Oh dang, I'm so happy right now. Holy shit. It means I don't have to farm on this map. I can farm on some other map as well. Get the uh, get the Miho rewards. All right, all right. Um, we're gonna have to buy more slots. Also, I'm gonna have to unsummon some of these or release some of them. Like this one, I don't need. I I don't need the mimic. I don't need the slimes. I don't need this goldfish. And I probably don't need the bat. I could probably cap capture more once I need need some. And I don't need this thing. Alright, so that's enough slots for me to summon. Alright, let me get all my gems ready, and then we can start summoning. Dang it. There's so many! What is going on? Alright, alright, I think this is the last one, alright? It's definitely the last one. Oh, we also have the capture reward from this map. I have every single one. That is actually awesome. Er, leg? Hello? Alright. We have 800. I actually have, uh, I have an egg here. So let's let's start with the egg. All right, let's start with the egg. All 
spawn. T star is actually pretty good. Oh, I have an extra egg from this. Oh, I can pop another one. One. That's a Phoebean. All right, I just wanna, I just wanna summon a Nat Five so I can unsummon it. You guys can watch the most painful thing in the world. Oh, it's another Siren. That's actually pretty good. I can use that to level up my units. A monkey. As usual, as usual, a monkey. Oh, another Mona. That's actually pretty good. If I can get like three Monas, I can immediately upgrade. Water Succubus. Rip. Crow Hook. Wood Hunter. Is Wood Hunter any good? Mini Cat. Not sure if I, I'm gonna raise. I'm definitely gonna raise one of the mini cats on this account. Actually, crow hooks are pretty good too. They have, they have some pretty OP skills. All right, I just hope my variant's not a. Oh, I have a wood miho. Nice, nice, nice. I just hope my variant is not lightning. Oh, I have a variant seedler now. Oh, okay, that was a horrible, horrible summon, but it's not its not bad for this account, actually. Alright, Succubus, triple diamond slot. Could have abused the shit out of you early game, but... Um, you're gonna have to go, alright? <laughs> We're gonna have to throw you overboard. Oh, that's not bad. Actually, that's a pretty good uh, pretty good reward. What, what leader skill does he have? Global Resistance. He's also double sapper. He's actually not bad. I could probably use him for B, B, uh, B7. Yeah, definitely gonna keep him. Definitely gonna keep him around. And I can... I have a wood Miho. That's actually really, really nice as well. I have a second Siren, but I don't have enough. I, don't, I need a third Siren if I want to make my Siren evil too. Same thing with the Mona as well. Alright, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. And if you guys liked it, be sure to leave me a like. If you guys didn't like it, um, then, then screw you. I spent the last hour on this. Actually, no. If you guys didn't like it, leave me a dislike. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much. And peace out.